The Sinking City. I need to open my casebook because I frankly cannot remember what we're doing. What are we doing? A man asked me to hang these wooden crosses on an... Oh, we're going deep sea diving, aren't we? Uh, it's on the first floor of his house. So I believe we were about to go deep sea diving and I've been teleported outside. Because that's what the game does. And now we have to run all the way back over there. Because that's what the game does. <laughs> okay, so away we go. So we're about to go deep sea diving. Uh, to find the second monolith piece, and remember, it's the guy who he tried to get his family away from the town. Oh, hello! Come here. Oh. He tried to get his family away from the town, and basically, the town, the monolith, the spookiness wouldn't let him escape. And his family all went insane and jumped overboard and died in the ocean. So, nice, happy story for him. And we're gonna go put some little crosses by their corpses so that they can feel better about the whole situation. And then we will um, get the second piece of the monolith. And then I think we need to go back to the archives to get the third location. Which I should have done last time, but... Oh well. <clears throat> we shall see. Maybe this second one will lead to the third one. You never know for sure. It's funny, putting crosses on corpses. It's like, despite being super not religious in any way whatsoever... Um, that's probably a little early in the video to be having this kind of conversation. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You still kind of like, even if you're not religious. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Even if you're not religious, you still kind of do. I'm going to go on it. Yeah. You still kind of do certain things to honor the dead and all this kind of stuff, which doesn't really make a lot of sense if you think about it, because they're dead and who cares? Like, they don't care. They're dead, kind of thing. But I mean, when my nan died, for example, we went to Germany to spread her ashes in this river, right? Because she loved this river. Oddly enough, the River Rhine, which is where my hotel is in Gamescom next month. So that's going to be an interesting experience for me. This is why I was trying... <laughs> I was saying, this is too early in the video. This is way too early in the video. Let's go underwater. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. It's a shame these underwater sections... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Suck. Yeah, that's that's the word I'm looking for. They are terrible. They're pointless. It, initially, the atmosphere was really nice. Like, I really enjoyed just the ambiance of them, but they're all the same. It's just vents and a stupid squid thing. Neither of which is a particularly interesting obstacle, I'm afraid. Especially the vents. They're just annoying. Like, I'm not going to wait. Why would I wait? I get hurt, but... I can infinitely regen, so why would I care about the vents? I was um, reading some of the online opinions of Sinking City, like on the subreddit, and nobody really likes these sections. Again, the, the atmosphere is pretty cool, but they're all the same, so it kind of runs out eventually, right? Um, but loads of people were saying they kept dying and stuff like that. I'm thinking, how? How do you ever die in this kind of section? Oh my god, I love that thing, though. I really like that thing. Oh, hello. It's a big-ass boat right there. Where am I going? Oh, this way. That's a huge ship. See what I mean? That kind of thing is very cool. It's a sh oh, wait, wait. I should be looking out for corpses. Alright, I've not... I've not really been paying attention as I've been running along. I'm a little worried I may have missed somebody. See? I, I hope you find a place where your soul can rest in peace. Okay, I'm really glad I went back. I'm going to knit back a little further just in case. Hello, I didn't see you, big boy. Right, I'm glad. I'm really glad we did this. Oh, I've gone the right way. Without meaning to, admittedly, I've gone the right way. Which means I may have missed a corpse. This area is actually pretty cool, I will say. I was just complaining about it, but this area feels a little bit different. I'm not going through... Ah, there we go, thank God. This is sky. Can I climb up here? Oh no, sir, hello. Beautiful. I do like that it makes you uh, automatically teleport out. Like, it would be annoying to have to... Um, <clears throat> to walk all the way back. Not that that took very long. There we go, second piece. Not bad. Nice four minutes in, baby. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to... 
What's going on? Blood's flashing. What is going on? Is that a bug or is that a sign of my decaying mind? I suspect it's a bug, actually. I found your family, Jimmy. Rest assured. I did what you asked. Thank you. Hopefully it will ease their troubled souls. I I'm sorry I asked you to risk your life on my behalf. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's alright, Jimmy. You're a good man. I can't pretty sure it's booked. There's no way this is meant to be happening right now. Uh, we'll see if it keeps happening when we go outside. I remember how to get outside. How do I escape from this hellhole? <laughs> Failing everything will reload because that will take me out to the. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's bugged. I'm getting the flashing lights from the. Um... I mean, it's not that annoying. We can take it as a sign of my. Yeah, it's my my mental. This, basically. Okay. Okay, no, it's annoying me now. <laughs> Maybe when we fast travel it'll go. Actually, it probably will fast it'll go away when we fast travel, so. We'll see what happens. Nip down here. So we're gonna go back to the Oakmont Chronicle. And uh, search the archives once more. Find out where this third piece of the thing where Jiggy is. Yum, da, 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 da. Where am I going? Right. It is a bug, right? I'm not going crazy. It's like lightning, but it's green. There is lightning happening, but I don't think that's anything to do with it. It's shit for again. I'm gonna miss this game. We're in the end of the game now. Really no idea what we're gonna play next. No plans whatsoever. People keep suggesting things which I really appreciate, but the whole point of this channel is for me literally just to play games that I really want to play kind of thing, so I need to wait for something to grab me. You know, it has to be something that I, I've i been looking forward to. I was looking forward to this game for a really, really, really long time, actually. Uh, yeah, there it is. And it's... It's good. It's a solid 6 to 7 out of 10. Atmosphere, really good. Writing, sometimes really good. Acting, eh. Graphically, it's okay. Um, like I said, the world building is really nice. Okay. <laughs> maybe it is on... Maybe what's going on there? Seriously. Maybe it is on purpose. And the lightning's gone green. Maybe it is actually a thing. Yeah, there's this... What is going on? So, I mean, this thing is... This, this kind of thing is very, very cool. I, mean, I thought it was a bug, but it is actually the lightning. It just seems to be happening a lot. And the, the plot itself, like, I really like it. That I, okay, it's not particularly unique or anything, we're the chosen one, you know? <laughs> I think that's happened about 10 billion times, but the idea that there's a cycle going on, and we have to... I mean, it's very Dark Souls as well, but it's also very Lovecraftian. This is clearly a game made by people who love Lovecraft and Cthulhu Mythos and all that kind of stuff, right? Anything with the old gods and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I feel like it is a bug because it shouldn't be happening inside. Okay, second part of instructions. The second monolith. Now, what I was thinking is that it says, Portentous Proud shall be delivered unto Oakmont with disciples. Th oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be here. Do I? I think I want to be in um, City Hall. I think it's City Hall, yeah. Um, did we go to City Hall last time? Where did I go first last time? I went to City Hall first last time and then I came here for this one. But I think the second one, because it's looking for people, right? The second one, lift Portenta Surprise, shall be delivered unto Oakmont with Disciples 3, each identical glass. We're looking for triplets, right? Because they're this. It's, it's three. It's, yeah, it's three triplets. Okay, so we're going to go back to City Hall instead. And if this is wrong, then I'll skip forward and I'll come back once again. <clears throat> so yeah, it's... The game has the same problem that every game by this company has, you know, the Sherlock Holmes people, in that it's janky 
the animations are janky, the AI is janky as all hell. There's way, way too few fewer voice lines for the townspeople. Like, there's like four in the entire game. There needs to be more of them. I think there also needs to be a better way to find side quests. You'd have to try to talk to like every single person in the town to find every side quest in the game. Which seems fine in a, oh, we're not going to hold your hand kind of way. But it's also boring. And the end of the day, it's a video game. I did not... Is that City Hall? Yeah, cool. Um, but generally speaking, I've really enjoyed it. I think you guys have as well, hopefully. See what I mean? Just chunky. But it's okay, it's part of its charm. I do think it shouldn't have been sold at the price it was. It was too expensive for the quality you get, but I've had fun. Right, so we're looking for citizens. Citizen records, and... Hey, look at that. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Laura, Claire, and Alison Whiteley. Triplets. Date of birth, record lost at the start of the flood. Place of birth, railway station at the intersection. Okay. So, let's put these on the map. Western Shells, so we're down here. Intersection of Salvation and Moreland. Well, there's Moreland. And there's Salvation. Ah, beautiful. It's literally, maybe that's it there, actually. Oh, oh. That spooky area, factory thing, I ended up in ages ago. Remember when I was, I was looking for a guy's house and I ended up in this old warehouse looking building? Maybe that was, that was the railway station. Remember we climbed in some train cars? We were getting attacked by like 25 wild beasts at the time. It went absolutely insane. That is actually where I need to go. Let's go to that. Let's go find this monolith. And then let's go enter the depths and see what the happy haps are. Probably not the happiest haps that's ever been, but I really like that. That's very cool. And there's the monolith. Aurora Borealis. In your kitchen at <laughs> this time of year. No, at this time of year. Contained solely within your kitchen. I don't know the line precisely, but it's something like that. Oi. Interesting. Definitely handmade. Looks like a piece of the monolith. I will say, I feel like the cult surrounding the monolith and the insmuffers and everything has been a little neglected. Shipping off such a huge piece would require a lot of effort. You couldn't do this alone. I really thought they were going to be like fundamental to the game, but they haven't been really. The game has taken quite a political approach in general. You know, a lot of it's been about the factions warring against each other. The same pattern as on the monolith. This one, oh. The ship looks fresh. Okay. Monster took a good bite out of this poor man. His own mother wouldn't recognize him now. Oh god. Even this monstrosity couldn't survive being riddled with harpoons. Oh, 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 there it is. Hurry! I think I heard something. Okay, they're shipping away the monolith. Harder! We must have this piece of the stone. It's blessed. Okay. The wild beasts smell us. Protect the stone. Time to figure this out. I think this may be one of the simpler ones. Harder. This is when Must it turns out I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I heard the wild beasts smell us. Protect the monster. Stone. Oof. A group of fanatics chipped off a piece of the monolith and got away with it. Apparently, it was the one with the niche I need. <clears throat> Okay. It's crazy we've got four of those in London Links. So, there's the tracks. I'm going to go past our monster friend here. I mean, this is the way they came, right? The cart was over there. Killed with one blow. Oh, I see tra oh I, I see tracks, I hear monsters. I wouldn't want to be him. The 
wood's rotten from the damp. Okay, let me run this way. Maybe? And tracks lead over here. And this falls down. Oh. You can see this book. Looks it's definitely handmade. Looks like a piece of the monolith. All soaked in blood. And I hope it's still readable. Excited to be the secretary of our community, the history of our ascension will be written with my own hand. Two days ago I found the blessed piece of the stone. It's so close, the hour of our ascension draws near. New headquarters in Western Shells on Justice Street between Innershine Street and Bourne Road. Closer to the stone, it'll be easier to transport. It's funny, there's this whole shebang about how they don't have house numbers because um, they don't care about foreigners being able to find their way around the city, basically. <laughs> However, because they just tell you exactly where everything is anyway, it doesn't really make a difference. It just seems like being a dick for the sake of it. Oh, we're up to 2,000 experience points to level up. Um, right. Well, I don't really care about any of them going forward, but I guess bombs are probably the best one. Let's go for that. Oh, okay. That one first. That's probably the last one we're going to get, so... Although I can now set traps mighty fast. Watch this. Oh, beautiful. It's going to hurt us. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> it's fine. What was that? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Map. We are going to Western Shells. Oh, maybe I just run, actually. Just the street, which is here. Between Inner Shine. Just there. What? Yeah, okay. Whoops. Definitely should have checked. Whoopsie daisy. I'll tell you what, let's do some crafting as well. I am. Um, 100% stocked up. People did say that by the end of the game, resources become. It's just because you've got multiple guns, you kind of. And plus, you can just hit things to death, really. <laughs> Hitting things to death is definitely the plan. I honestly think those. The first upgrades you de get are definitely the XP upgrades, but after that. The, uh. The melee attack one, honestly, is super, super valuable in the early game. I would recommend it to any of you thinking about picking the game up when it's on sale or something like that. Which is also what I would recommend, if I'm honest. Um, I really enjoyed it, but. It wasn't worth. 50 quid or whatever it was. Kind of assume this is it. I'm in the right place? I'm in the right place. I'm looking for a beep at the top. Oh, this is it. Are they people? I hope they didn't smash the part I need. This statue is incredibly detailed. It's practically lifelike. Yeah, I don't think it's a statue, buddy. What is now, but... Damn. Did they actually try to chew that? Oh, I'm some... oh god. Oh, the teeth have fallen out. Looks like they were trying to eat the stone. Don't like that. No, nothing with the teeth. Never anything with the teeth. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I have no idea why you want me to look here, game. I can't help myself. It's so delicious. Huh. All right then. Bad. Very strange. I like it. I'm into it. <laughs> we are honored to be the first to ascend. May this case give free us from our bodily weaknesses and sins. Good care. 
At last our ascendance is so close. We'll start immediately. Others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no one can interrupt. Let me take the key. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Put it here. At last we are honored to be the first to ascend. Others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no Comes one can interrupt. Comes await the ascension. Let me take the key. I want you to take the key. A piece of the monolith was brought here. Partly eaten. And the leftovers were taken upstairs. The door was locked and the key hidden among the books. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah. Huh. I just went utterly bloody mental. Oh my god, look at this place. No, thank you. <laughs> Quite done with that. Jesus. The insanity when it happens is very cool. It just doesn't happen that often. Like, having your vision blurred by a vision of your own hanging is pretty cool. Not in real life, that'd be terrifying, but in a game, it's pretty cool. There's my baby. Who's my good girl? You are. This must be part of the seal. Okay. Got me a complete seal. Oh. 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 <clears throat> the true purpose of the monoliths is to lead the faithful to ascension, to the new life in the changing world. Eat from them, embrace them in all your flesh, and Kay's gift will free you from bodily weaknesses and sins. We will join the 144,000 chosen and will rest among angels, while the sinners will face the wrath of the beast that sleeps in the depths. All right. Um, do we go back to the monolith in the middle now? Yep. Something in the monolith has transformed the worshippers into completely new creatures. Oh, so I've got a few to go. I wonder if anyone's going to try to murder me. Surprisingly not. Right, so we need fast travel. Come on, boat. You can do it. I believe. No. Lamppost. No. Why? <laughs> Where am I going? Straight forward and straight forward and right. Second right. Boys. That's very cool. How are we doing? We can get on top of one of those things. Oh, I really want to try. We might, we might just do an episode at the end where we just try to break the game, basically. I don't want to give it a go. Let's just give it a try. We need the end of the episode anyway, right? We're not going to do anything important in the next three minutes. Let's just see if this is a thing. Yeah, look at this! Um, can we... Um, okay, now I'm going to swim for sure. Hopefully not get eaten by the eels. Swim, buddy. Swim. Swim. There we go. I've literally not encountered an eel in this entire game, yet there is a skill point to not take damage from the eels. Well, to take half damage. But that's pretty cool that you can climb onto that thing. Take a little journey around the sea. I'm glad that we tried it. Any who's on. <coughs> Bloody no. Uh, right, so we need to go to... Is it on my map? Yes, yeah, there. It's St. Michael's Church, right? That was the central one. With the flames? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> St. Michael's Church, and then we went to... The one on the coast, and then we just did the one that we just did. Okay. Ba-ba-da-ba. So I don't think we've hit the point of no return yet. I suspect we're very close to the point of no return. We're gonna, I'm gonna save it like now, actually. Actually, this is a good time to end it. <laughs> I'm gonna build up suspense for the next video. So I'm gonna get two saves here. One of them will keep overwriting and one of them will leave. Okay, so 
Next episode, we are going to go put the completed seal into the monolith. And it might honestly be the final episode. I don't know, but we're definitely in the end, end, end game at this point in time. I mean, the sky has gone bloody crazy. All video games have taught us that when the sky goes bloody crazy, you're making good progress. Right, so anyways, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back in a little bit. I will see you lovely folks then. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.